In this demonstration, we will show the process of setting up the call to Teams service. To connect the phone service and phone numbers from your existing telephone company to your users in Microsoft Teams. The steps we will go through will involve Getting everything ready for the call to Teams configuration process Logging into the call to Teams control panel to set up the service We'll configure the call to Teams service to link your Teams users to your existing phone service provider and finally, we'll test the service by making and receiving some calls in Microsoft Teams. Before we begin, you need to get some important information ready. You will need to temporarily make a spare Office 365 user license available. You will need account information from your phone service provider, about how you connect to their service and the phone numbers you have. And since we'll be configuring your Office 365 account, you'll require global admin rights, so you need to have an account with that access level. To compile the required account and phone number information from your phone service provider, you'll need access to your service portal. Record the required information for the service. For service providers that are validated for use on call to Teams, there will be a guide available to help you gather the required information. You may need to contact your existing SIP provider for assistance if the provider isn't listed on the Call to Teams portal. When you purchase your initial Call to Teams subscription, you will receive an invitation to log into the portal. You will use your Office 365 credentials to log in. When you log in for the first time you will be asked to give the Call to Teams portal permission to identify and connect to your Office 365 account. Check the permission box and proceed to the portal. To start configuring the service, go to the Services tab. Here we will set up the connection between your phone service provider and to your Office 365 domain. First of all, let's configure the connection to your phone service provider in the Trunks menu. Select the appropriate provider from the drop down menu. Enter the telephone number ranges you have been allocated by your phone company. Next, copy the required service information previously recorded from the phone service portal. For listed phone service companies, the portal has a setup guide available to help you get the service up and running. Save this information before continuing. After you have created the connection to your phone service provider, you can see that the connection has successfully registered as the account indicator will show green. If there is a problem with registration, the error code will also be available here. Next, from the Teams tab, click the Enable Services button. Call to Teams will now ask for permission to configure your Office 365 tenant further. First you are giving Call to Teams permission to run the Voice PowerShell. Next you are giving permission to configure your Office 365 users with the phone numbers you provide. Call to Teams will now start the initial configuration of the Call to Teams service. During this phase Call to Teams will use a spare user license to make the necessary changes to your Office 365 account so that you can make and receive phone calls. Please have at least one spare user license available for this step. It will only be required for the duration of this setup stage. This stage may take several minutes and the time it takes depends upon the internal Office 365 platform. The Teams admin guide available in this screen provides more information if you think it's taking too long. Once the Sync Now button is showing complete with the green check mark, we are ready to go ahead and configure our users. We're now ready to add the users from Microsoft Teams and get them ready to use Call to Teams. To configure users, let's select the Users tab on the top of the portal. Here we can see any existing users that have been created, and the button to create a new user. When we click the Add User button, we can enter user information into the form shown. Call to Teams will provide us with a list of users in Office 365 that are able to use the service, as they have the Microsoft Phone System, Microsoft 365 Business Voice, or E5 license applied. If your users aren't showing here, make sure they have the correct license in the Office 365 portal. For each user, or service account, assign the number from your phone service provider they'll be using. Finish off, by clicking the Add button. 
we'll finish adding our remaining users and numbers. And click the sync button to apply the changes. Testing the call to team service is straightforward. Users with the call to team service enabled will have a calls icon in their Microsoft Teams program, and when they select it, they should see a dial pad and their phone number. Be aware that sometimes it takes quite a while for the dial pad to show up. Look at our troubleshooting guide if you aren't seeing the dial pad in your Teams client. Using the dial pad, place a call to check the service through your phone service provider. Yield through to Cunify, leaders in unified communications innovation. Also make some test calls to your DID or extension, and you'll see the Teams client ring. Call to Teams also works with the Teams mobile and Mac client, so be sure to test those too. We hope you found this setup guide helpful. If you have suggestions about how we can make it better, please let us know. Thank you, and goodbye.